Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bogey137 coming at you with a, another video. Uh, I had actually uploaded this video, but I don't know where it went. I don't think it ever got into the uh, sub box. It might have been sat on private. I might have just not checked. But I'm going to redo the video just in case because I probably will talk in a lot more detail in this video as I didn't really talk in much detail last time. Um, okay, so this video is about diets. Um, I got asked the other day by one of my followers on Twitter can you do a video about a diet for a footballer? Um, every person's diet will be different in every sport. And again, in football, there will be a varied amount of diets just due to positional play. For example, as a goalkeeper, I won't need as much energy as, say, a winger or a box-to-box -box midfielder, just due to the fact that I will not be running the vast distances that they do. On average, a midfielder or a winger can cover up to 7 or 8 kilometres in a game on average, while a goalkeeper will cover up to about two, maybe three at max. Um, so I won't need as much carbohydrate as, say, a winger. Uh, my positional is my positional. My position is more based on strength. Um, so I will. My diet will require more protein than it would carbohydrates. I still would have to eat carbohydrates to have the energy, as carbohydrates is the body's primary source of energy. Um, but I, what I mean as for I would need more protein, as you know, goalkeeping is kind of a strength-based thing. As a goalkeeper, you should be able to push off with powerful legs to dive across the net, jump higher, uh, out-muscle players on corners, for example. So my diet would mainly be enriched with protein, high foods, for example, beef, chicken, nuts, Exa uh, just a few examples that you might know already, might not know, but I'll try and keep this as short and as in a less detail as I can. So obviously, as I'm saying, strength, everyone knows strength and power comes from muscles. Uh, our muscles, the only way they grow is due to either lifting weights or working out. Obviously, I've talked about me working out recently. I've started going to the gym at least three times a week and started doing a lot more strength based stuff for example weightlifting uh, I do a lot of lower body work some upper body work uh, just to help me build muscle mass um, I'm not trying to get too big simply due to the fact that if I get too big I, it will hinder my goalkeeping performance I'm just trying to keep myself lean and fit um, and build strength to help me obviously kick further throw further dive further um, but, all right I'll get on to the actual point I was meaning to talk about uh, Pro, when we work out our muscles, the muscle fibres within our muscles, you can go and check this out, Google it, look on, so don't look on Wikipedia because that's not normally wrong. Uh, go and look about uh, muscle during workout. When we work out, our muscle fibres within the muscle, which are known as myofibrils, uh, tend to break and tear apart. I know that sounds bad and you might be like, oh, well, isn't that what injuries are? That is what injuries are, but that is when they fully tear. Uh, what happens is you get micro tears within your muscle fibres which when you're working out, they tear and afterwards they rebuild. Uh, as you'll see, a lot of people, if you do go to the gym and you are my age and you may not do weights, but you see a lot of people with drinks afterwards, those are supplements. These supplements help you build up the mass within your muscles. It helps them repair quicker. Like I'm saying, I eat a lot of protein-based foods. That allows my muscles to build bigger faster than it would be if I just worked out and came home and ate crap. For example, like crisp chocolate and stuff like that, it wouldn't help my muscles as much. I'd just be putting fat back on my muscles rather than allowing the muscle the fibers to build. So that is mainly what a goalkeeper would be eat. Well, that's mainly what I eat. You might have a completely different diet that might work for you. This is my opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Uh, for if you're watching this and you're not a goalkeeper, for example, say you're you're that box to box midfielder. Like I said. Your diet will be more based around carbohydrates, simply due to the fact that, as I said, carbohydrates is the main primary source of energy within the body. It goes carbohydrates, protein, no, carbohydrates, fat, and then protein. If you get down to using protein, it can be very dangerous for your body. So we all need that source of carbohydrate. Like I said, you, will be, you as I know, I know for marathon runners and people who are running longer distances, they do something called carbo-loading the night before. Carbo loading is simply when you eat a lot, you don't eat a lot of carbohydrates maybe a week before the event. Say you've got a big cup final coming up and you're that box to box midfielder, 
You may not eat a lot of carbohydrates the week before, but as it gets to the week of the event, you eat a lot of carbohydrates, for example, rice, pasta, bread, a lot before. And on the night of it, you do the carbo loading, which is you eat a large starchy meal. Starch is another form of carbohydrate, it's a complex carbohydrate. So you'd eat like a large bolognese, I don't know, bolognese pasta. You could have chicken curry and a lot of rice and stuff like that. Simply to load your body with energy. As carbohydrate burns slower, well, more complex carbohydrates burn slower. So, for example, uh, rice will take longer to burn than, for example, your typical energy drink. You will, they'll both start at the same level, but the energy drink will run out before these run out. So these are always, it's always better to eat complex carbohydrates. You may not understand what I'm going on about, but this is what I know, this is what I've been asked about. Um, so you'll tend to eat more of that beforehand. To be fair, keep it, we will still eat quite a lot because our training is very fast, very quick. We do tend to use a lot of carbohydrates while we work simply due to the fact that we move faster. Maybe not for as long, but we do use energy a lot quicker. So our energy is a complex. Carbohydrates will drop faster than maybe... Uh, a regular like a strikers during training because we work faster for a short period of time but you work harder for a longer period of time that that doesn't make any sense it's the same thing but you get you should be getting what i'm going at so yeah um i don't know if there's really much else i can say that is basically what it is uh, if you guys want to go and look up all this i might have been completely wrong please go ahead go into google and search uh, about muscle fibres, look up about how protein helps, but look up about how carbohydrates is the primary source of energy in the body. Please don't use Wikipedia. A lot of you will use it and go straight to Wikipedia. Sometimes the information on there is false. Don't always believe everything on Wikipedia, and I've learned that the hard way, as in my old sixth form school, I did some work on muscle fibres for biology, and I didn't really know much about it. I should have done due to doing PE. But we hadn't done a lot of detail on it, so I couldn't get a lot. So I went straight onto Wikipedia and copied loads of stuff off that. And it was rubbish. It didn't mean anything to the teacher, so I did get a very low grade on that assignment. But please go ahead and do look it up if you are very confused about what I've just said. It may confuse you a bit more. But again, if you guys have any questions on stuff like this, please send me a, a message, Facebook, Twitter, on here. I will answer, I'll try my hardest to answer it in the best amount of detail that I can that may not confuse you. But anyway guys, uh, it's been your boy Game 137 and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs>